Blondie. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's been a good little while, ain't it? Today we want to share a story with y'all that happened to us. Very, very creepy. We're not sure if we have another haunted dog. We just might though. We think we might. Okay guys, this is what happened. So just bear with us. This gets really weird. Mm -hmm. This morning we decided we would go to this used clothes store kind of knickknack store. If you don't know what knickknacks are, they're like a little antique store. We walked in and over to the right there was a bunch of objects, books, movies, yeah. and I seen a doll sitting there. And immediately I had a feeling about this doll. So I touched the doll and I felt something with the doll. So I put it down. Mm -hmm. And then I asked baby to touch it. How did yeah. you feel about it? I got a bad vibe from it right away. Like, as soon as my hand touched it, I was like, whoa. Something might right I'm starting to get that feeling right now that we got earlier when yeah. we got the store. Yeah. It gets weirder, guys. It does. Yeah. So, we walk around the store, and she's at one end of the yeah, store. Yeah, we're on completely different sides of the store. She's on one side, and I'm on the other. And I start getting, like, a tightness in my chest, my throat, like I can't swallow. I'm feeling sick. There was a lady that was in front of me. I don't know, guys, if she had a bad aura. This might not even have been the doll. This could have been the lady. But when I tried to go around her, like, she would not move. Like, she was busy shopping. She wouldn't move. And every time I got close to her, I felt my anxiety go up. And I was like, hey, man, why ain't this woman moving out of the way? So then, baby, now you tell what was going yeah. on with you. So I was looking for clothes for my husband, like I usually do. Just seeing, it's like this little, small, circular rack. Well, I'm there, minding my own business, and then there's this lady right here on one side, and then another woman and her three kids on the other side, and they start, like, moving a little bit closer, and I'm like, whoa, I don't like this. I, I'm not, I don't do so good around a whole lot of people. And where they was moving around and minding their own business, I started getting uncomfortable, so I wanted to move around, so I moved back into the little back room that Mama's in, and as soon as I get in there, like, my chest starts feeling like I can't breathe, and it's right up to my throat. starts from the pit of my stomach up to my throat, and I have a hard time breathing. Well, we moved back to the front, waiting for us. But when yeah. we was in the back, she was, like, real close to me, and I was like, yeah. why is she, like, real, real close to me? Like, she needs to be protected. It feels like everywhere you look, there was somebody there. The place was really full today, and it's usually not. Well, see, I was having the same feeling that she was having at the same time, but I didn't say nothing to her. And then all of a sudden, you said, Mama, do you feel sick? Yeah, because it actually got so bad to the point of me, for me that I thought I was going to have to go outside and be like, Mama, I got to go. I need to get some air because I can't breathe in here. And then I asked Mama, I said, are you feeling kind of sick, like you can't breathe? And she said, yeah. And it turned out we was both feeling the exact same thing at the exact same time, just different spots. Like we were going to pass out, like we were going to throw up. Mm-hmm. And everywhere we went, it just got worse. But it actually started affecting us, I believe, when we touched the doll. Mm -hmm. That was the start of it. For me, it was gradual. It started off small, and then it started picking up. And when it started picking up, it got worse and worse. So, by the time we're at the restaurant, we're paying for her stuff, and she's leaning on some clothes. Like and my not. legs actually started hurting me. Yeah, like, she was going to pass out, and I'm like, okay, I need to pay for this stuff because I feel like I'm going to pass out, too. Yeah, I felt like I was going to puke up everything I ate. I couldn't breathe, and I was like, it's hot. And I, I'm usually a cold person as it is. I was wearing a little jacket. I was about to start shedding that off of me, and I felt like I was going to pass out if I didn't go outside and get some air. So, we're paying for herself. We bought this little, um, like, a little jury box-like thing, and the woman last week when we went when we went there. Mm -hmm. She said, we've got so much yard sale stuff. Look at her porch. It's full of yard sale yeah, stuff. it was full of stuff I hadn't even put, put in yet. Yeah, so I was telling baby on the way home, we was like, if there's anything negative, you could not follow us home. And we were both really yeah, sick we, coming home. Yeah, it was awful. And when we, we had, was riding home with the windows rolled down, that helped a little bit, but it was still really bad. It was overwhelming feeling. And see, I, I'm a sensitive, like I can touch things and feel things. I have gloves that I use it where it has the fingers cut out or I'll have something around my hands. Mm -hmm. And we was touching all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah. 
So when we got home, I got my sage, I got all my stuff. Florida water. I was cleansing herself, you know, cleansing herself. And that's when we started noticing that it was starting to lighten up when we was cleansing ourselves. So whatever it was, it was really powerful. And we don't think it was just one thing in that store. So what did we do? We went back and got the doll. We bought the doll. For me, I was like, it's kind of a 50-50 at first. Because I was like, it was that powerful to make two people feel the exact same thing and then not even be that close together. And everybody else was walking around the store and everybody else seemed fine. Yeah. But me and your spiritual, so I believe maybe we was, people were getting too close. It to never us. bothered me. The more I've been around, the more... I don't do so good with a whole lot of people around me. And I'm a shut-in guy. If I can find a way to get away, then I'm good. But if I'm in one little spot and there's other people kind of getting closer, I did I did this today too. When I was sitting there looking at clothes, I kind of started huddling up a little bit thinking that that was going to help. And it did for maybe a brief second and then they started moving closer. And I was like, nope, I'm out of here. I'm going. All right, so we're going to show you the doll that we got, guys. Which I saged her, cleansed her before I brought her into my house because we have had some haunted objects before. We have. And it got out of control. We're talking about lights shutting on and off, dogs going crazy. My son was angry today. He's like, Mama, I know you're just sitting with yeah. another haunted object. We told in my him house. we couldn't resist. And he was like, Y'all never listen to me. He's like, when so, if thing, something happens, he's like, I'm going to be that person that said I told you so. Next thing I want to get, guys, is coal from the Titanic. Because mm -hmm. they actually sell that. That'd be really cool. I just feel like that that would probably be something that would be haunted. Yeah. But anyways, guys. The but we doll, always, when we get something that we think is haunted, we always take safety precautions. Yeah, like she's put in an uh, entertainment center case over here with our other haunted doll. Where nothing can bother her. Yeah, so she'll be added to a Lost Legends library. You'll be seeing her probably in the back with her Annabelle. We're getting a case built for her Annabelle. Yes. Uh, but. I right. like what we do with any of our other haunted things. We treat it with respect. Yeah. So, y'all watch the screen as she comes on screen. Because the last dolls we recorded, our batteries was going dead. The screen was jumping. Our voice wasn't. It wasn't matching up to the mouth movement. No. So, every time anything haunted, we ever found something Yeah. Weird and we noticed happening. right away because when we started off, the camera was working fine. Everything was on point, And that's when, when we pulled the doll off. That's when everything just went downhill from there. Okay, guys. But we actually looked at what kind of doll she is. Mm -hmm. And she was made a... Uh, started back in the 1950s. Wasn't I think it, so. I think. But we're going to put all that for y'all to see. But we yeah. actually looked up... Uh, history. Mm -hmm. this, uh, they're very beautiful dolls. Yeah. But the name of the dolls. This is her. And the name of it is. Can you see the She's name? a Gambino doll. And her name is Scarlet. And the story to them is the dress is supposed to keep them because it wasn't ladylike to show your ankles. Yeah. So the dresses are real long. And she did come with like a little parasail and a little hat because they said it wasn't very ladylike and ladies back then weren't allowed to get suntan complexions. And she's got uh, one of those sleepy dolls. Yeah, when you sit up, the eyes will open or close. But she feels okay now yeah. in my hands. But when we got, I held her for the first you. time, that sure wasn't. Yeah, the first time you kind of felt it. Yeah. See, now I feel fine. But we did say, we did say to her, we cleansed her before mm -hmm. she came in the house. We took all the precautions. And we also said there was nothing negative. We do not invite anything negative in our home. If any neg negative attachments are to this doll, you must leave them. Yeah, immediately. we don't want you here. So, that's our story, guys. Uh, read the card, baby. All right. She is actually an original Gambino doll, which I'm not sure if they make dolls anymore, do they? I don't know. Remember we saw the commercial, but it was like in the 1980s. Oh, yeah, 1980s or 1970s. Before that, that was. Yeah, her clothes was made in Louisiana. But she was made in Hong Kong. Yes, so her feet say Hong Kong, but her clothes say Louisiana. And we looked up the ones that were made in Louisiana, yeah. but this is her story. Okay, so her name is Scarlett, and she's the Southern Bell doll. In the days of the old cell, it was improper for a lady to show her ankles. 
This is why she wore a long, full skirt. Her big, wide brimmed hat and parasol was to protect her skin from the sun. Ladies were not allowed to have a suntan complexion. And imagine if she actually still had the parasol and hat. We look her up. We looked them up on eBay, and they were running from twenty dollars and up. Yeah. Not that but we, we couldn't selling. find no. We couldn't find her though. No. Which was really odd. We found all different ones, but they all had different hair colors and different dress colors. Could not find one in the year that she was, and honestly, I'm not really sure the year she is. And we paid four dollars for her. Not a bad deal, actually. And I love the little pigtail shit that she has. She's got the cute little ribbons in her hair. I think she's really pretty. But that's it for this story. But we're going to be right back because we want to tell you about some strange things we've seen in the woods this weekend when we went right. We'll be right back, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bella. All right, now we got to yeah. put, put her up. But seriously, though. Strange things are afoot. She's a cutie.